Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Peachy and this channel is all about my Sylvanian Families collection. Today I wanted to take you on a really quick tour of the Sylvanian room. We haven't done a kind of full tour video since I think it was May 2022 when I kind of first got the room. So I wanted to take you on a little tour today and show you what kind of changed and what still needs to be set up and sorted out. I'm kind of stood with my back pressed against the door for now, so let's go from the left. So over here, I've got a couple of window sills which I've popped down uh, grass on and got a few of the smaller sets. So here's the country bus. And then I've got kind of this wheelie unit here. On the bottom is the village store. On the middle is one of the first Sylvanian houses, but that whole shelf is a bit of a kind of cluttered mess at the moment, so that one needs sorting out. Um, I've also got the popcorn bike, the candy floss bike and the ice cream bike kind of flopped on there because I didn't have anywhere to put them uh, for the moment. So yes, that shelf uh, is on my list to sort out. Then here is the Tomy, I think this is the deluxe country mansion. Again, it's not, this isn't quite how I want it to look. It's been a little bit of a kind of place where I've just been popping families and the furniture inside is a bit of a mess. So that's another one that needs sorting out. Then over here on the other windowsill, I've got the pizzeria and also the pizza delivery bike set. Um, I'm going to do a more detailed video on that one. So look out for that coming up soon. Then I think we'll leave the bookcases for last because they're the most exciting bit. Um, over here is uh, my desk. So this is kind of where I film most of the videos on this kind of grassy mat here. So I've cleared that all down now so I can, I've got like a dedicated filming video space. And then on the shelves under there, I've popped a few smaller sets. I've got the ice cream van, the fish and chips van and also the hamburger wagon. I want to put a couple more people on those scenes and make like little tiny scenes, um, but I haven't quite got around to finishing those yet. Then over on this back wall is underneath are the large sets. I've got the House on the Hill, the Regency Hotel and Old Oak Hollow under there. Because of the size of those, they just won't fit anywhere else. So that's where I'm keeping those. And then on my kind of big display table at the back, you can see Christmas has been put away and we're kind of just in the kind of default setting now so this is where there's no seasonal event happening and you might have noticed that it's moved around a little bit since the last time I showed it so that's because I got the Royal Hotel and I had to move things around to kind of make that fit in but I really like how it looks now it's got these two kind of little side streets so I really like how that's come out and how everything's fitted and the next uh, seasonal event will be Easter so I guess I'll be doing kind of a spring and Easter setup on here next. Then coming round there's the field view mill. That one needs setting up, we haven't done that one yet and there's some other families here just waiting to go on to scenes and then that chest of drawers still has a lot of just uh, Sylvanian bits and bobs in bags in, some furniture, some that's what all of that is and then we come on to the bookshelves and we're pretty much done with the bookshelves uh, setting up setting them up now so if we go from bottom to top and I think I've got videos for pretty much all of these on my setting up the Sylvanian room playlist so I've got a little re residential scene there there's Willow Hall and the farm uh, the seaside scene with the seaside restaurant the log cabin scene and all the medical sets so I've got the cottage hospital the ambulance and another cottage hospital that I turned into a dentist then we go into the kind of shopping district so for this one we've got the toy shop the country flower shop and the village store the newer version of the village store and some stands out in the front as well like the sweet wagon Here's the Sylvanian Kitchen restaurant and then there's some older Tomy uh, shop building so we've got the vintage bakery, 
the other village florist shop, the Tomy Edition and the post office. Coming up again we've got the beauty salon, we've got the little Sainsbury's shop and the fruit wagon and the dress shop. Here's the village cake shop with the um, juice bar stand. Here's the Watermill Bakery with Christopher Appleblossom poking his head out the door there. And the donut shop and also the courtyard restaurant. Coming up again, we've got the toy wagon, the photo studio, the crepe and waffle house and the Applewood department store. Coming along, we've got uh, the other village cake shop. So this is the one that's also like a cafe. Coming up here, we've got the school scene with the nursery and the school and lots and lots of babies at the nursery. Going up again, we've got the campsite and the caravan. Then here we have Babblebrook Grange. There's no furniture in there yet, so that one still needs setting up. And then finally, we've got the river boating scene up here on the top with the canal boat Captain Sea Dog and this little blackberry rabbit. And up on the very top, I've got some bits and pieces that haven't been set up yet. So yes, that whole top row needs something doing with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to set up scenes up there or not though, because it's quite high and you can't really see. So it might be that that kind of level up there just gets used for storage. But yes, we've made some really good progress since May, getting all of these shelves pretty much set up apart from that Bubblebook Grange one. Still a little bit more to do, but I'm really happy with how it's coming together and how it's looking. I really like the changes made to the town and I really like having a kind of dedicated filming space where I've got different kind of floors that I can put down. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed watching this updated Sylvanian Room tour. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.